Hello YouTube, this is Gilbert uh, from GLC Lawn Care. It's uh, October 24th, Monday. Uh, we're not working today because of the weather. Uh, it's supposed to storm all day today. Um, it's been raining a little bit, but we haven't got hit you know, very hard. Uh, it's supposed to come in uh, by noon. Um, today I just want to talk about gas versus diesel. Uh, which one uh, would I pick? Uh, running my lawn care business uh, For the last five years we've been using the diesel truck, you know, we have two Dodge Ram 2500 diesel and They've been pretty good You know um, Back then, you know, I have a different vision as far as the where I want to take the, the company You know, the reason why I bought the diesel truck is because uh, I was planning to do a land clearing and purchasing a skid steer with a, with a mulcher head and do a little bit of um, you know skid steer work but uh, after COVID hits and all the lockdowns um, you know after the last election I decided to uh, put that on hold um, to uh, 2020 uh, 2019 when I bought this truck um, uh, beginning of 2020 um, I was thinking about it and then uh, late 2020 I put an order for uh, for a cat 299 uh, d3 uh, I think it's X XP uh, for a uh, forest three you know that's a ex expensive machine it's uh, cost about you know the heads the machine and a couple of uh, attachments about two hundred thousand um, but uh, you know I cancel it and uh, I decided not to go forward with it but uh, as far as the diesel truck uh, they're, they're good truck um, the only complaint I have is the uh, first the price of the truck it's about you know uh, twelve thousand fifteen thousand dollars more than a gas truck and second is the maintenance um, the maintenance on the truck, um, you know, other than the regular oil change every 10,000 miles, uh, you have to replace the, 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 the fuel filter. And for the Dodge Ram, it has two uh, fuel filter that you have to replace every 10,000 miles. And that costs about $380 to um, every, uh, every 10,000 miles. So pretty much every oil change. Um, the second one is the the diesel price you know it's keep going up it went down a little bit but now it's back to uh here in texas about 470 average of 470 a gallon uh versus to a gas um which is about a dollar less than diesel um diesel truck they're they're pretty good um you can really uh pull heavy stuff uh, with no problem, you know, we have a 14,000 K um, a dump trailer that we you know, sometimes we, we overload it with uh, rocks and and other landscaping materials and uh, With a diesel truck. There's no problem of uh, you know pulling that trailer uh, You know the engine is good. It will last you forever. You know it probably you know if you take care of it uh, It will last you, you know, probably 400 500,000 miles but the problem with that is the other components on the truck all right i had this block truck uh it, this one is a 2015 um truck and after i hit 500 up uh, no, um five years uh, uh stop start uh breaking uh on this truck the the egr cooler uh went out you know right after i think uh six uh six years mark uh, beginning of this year uh, 2022 so it's about six seven years um, it start you know the, comp the other components uh, start breaking so um, and that's not really cheap okay the, the EGR cooler it cost me about almost 2700 uh, to get it replaced to get it fixed you know I, I was going to do it but you know it's from uh, talk to the dealer the parts about 2200 and they got the chart they're charging me 2700 so I just went ahead and uh, you know have them replace it you know and also 
you know if I do it myself you know they say it, it's gonna void the warranty so you know if they do it it has a, I think I believe it's a two-year warranty on the EGR cooler so I went ahead and uh, you know have the dealer take care of it uh, so diesel is good if you putting a lot of miles but uh, we're not really putting a lot of miles you know we probably put about 50 75 uh, probably the most is 80 miles a day you know uh, you know we go to one area we caught and you know we stay there for about three hours so it's not we're not really putting a lot of mileage on the on our diesel truck so I don't see why you know stay with the diesel truck if I'm not gonna put a lot of mileage on the on the truck um, as far as the gas uh, I had a 1500 uh, you know 5.7 Hemi um, when I started the lawn care business you know it was a good truck but uh, I, I, I don't think it's you know it's it's had the towing capability as a 2500 that's the other thing that I want to talk about you know if you're gonna start in the lawn care business it's better to uh, start with a three-quarter than half a ton or you know probably three-quarters and bigger 2500 and above uh, because you know you're gonna find yourself you'll be towing you'll be you'll be renting equipment and uh, a 1500 it's not gonna pull a trailer with a skid steer or uh, ex excavator you know most of the rental place out there you know if you don't have a 2500 uh, they will not you, they will not let you uh, rent the equipment and pull their the, the equipment that you're renting because uh, it, you know it's gonna be above over the the towing capability of a 1500 or a 150 you know half a ton truck so um if, would i buy another diesel truck um maybe maybe if i decided to you know to take the business to a different le level you know if i really decided uh, i wanna i wanna start the land clearing and buy the equipment you know i might do it I might buy another diesel truck, probably a 3500 or a 4500, uh, to to pull the equipment. Um, but for now, I think we're gonna start uh, st stay with the gas truck for now. You know, if we do get more accounts and we need really need another truck, you know, for uh, lawn care, you know, we're probably gonna start uh, start stay with the with the gas uh, gas engine. Uh, but it's gonna be a 2500 at least. Um, you know, because I think um, a gas power, the 6.2 uh, uh, gas powered, get a 6.2 engine like the 2500 that we have is, uh, you know, it's have enough power to you know, to pull, you know, uh, a, a bigger trailer, a bigger load. So that's all I got for now. Um, you know, um, until next time again. Uh, it's Monday, and we're not working today, so. Hopefully the weather gets better tomorrow and we'll be back out there um, taking care of our uh, accounts. So till next time again, YouTube. Bye.